Adelaide's new bus timetables have received mixed reviews from commuters who put them to the test this morning. The government says the $3 million revamp will deliver more reliable services, but it concedes the system will never be perfect. Day two of the new timetables, but the first real test, Monday morning peak hour. Seems OK at the moment. There for a while it was a bit, you know, a bit shaky, but it's all been back on track for the last couple of weeks for my service. I work nine hours a day, I've got three kids at home, and an extra 15 minutes to me is massive. Always improve on things, can we? This is never going to be a perfect system because it is mass transport. Up to 10 minutes have been added to some services to reflect actual running times and auditors are keeping a close watch. How are they tracking? Yeah, no worries at the moment. Some even ran early, but not everyone's happy. Mount Barker resident Jamie Ann Albrecht says her new timetable doesn't include street names or stop numbers. They've got that information on their screens, but we the public can't access it because it's too much information for us. Are we that stupid? Today also happens to be the start of school holidays. The big test will come when students return in a fortnight, but the government denies it was a deliberate ploy to ease the changes through. The timetables are normally changed every six months or every year, and they normally tend to be just after the end of the financial year. And after more delays caused by bad weather, bus lanes along Grenfell and Curry streets should be up and running next Monday. Mark Mooney, 7 News.